There's no denying the fact that the score streaks in Infinite Warfare are rather lackluster. Gone are the days of a chopper gunner that nets you 20 plus kills, or a pack of savage dogs that had no counter. Instead, most of the score streaks in this game are simply weaker carbon copies of their former selves. If we turn our attention to the air assault challenges, there's one that specifically involves the aerial streaks in the game, the carpet bomb challenge. Get 10 triple kills with an aerial score streak. Now getting a triple kill with any score streak in Infinite Warfare is difficult enough, but if you restrict yourself to just the aerial streaks, it's even more challenging. Glancing at all the available score streaks, you can see that there's only a handful that are considered aerial. Most people would assume that the vulture falls under this category, but it's actually considered a ground streak. So that leaves us with the Trinity Rocket, Scorchers, Bombardment, the Warden, Thor, and the Apex. If you've been attempting this challenge already, you'll know that something just doesn't seem right with it. Maybe you swore that you've got a couple triple kills with one of these streaks before, but it didn't register. Chances are, that's probably exactly what happened. So let's take a look at some of my findings before we talk tactics. The first thing to note is that the drone package score streaks do count towards this challenge. Second, even though it says you need to get triple kills, if you exceed a triple kill, this will also register towards the challenge. So as you can see here, I'm sitting at 9 out of 10 notches for this challenge. I was tracking my progress closely each and every match. Since you're obviously rewarded with the challenge complete notification, I could tell with 100% certainty what registered and what didn't. Upon entering a match, I got a Trinity Rocket in a drone package and I called it in. You can see I clearly receive a triple kill. However, no challenge complete notification popped up. Upon ending the match and checking my progress, I was still at 9 out of 10. Thus, the Trinity Rocket does not count towards this challenge. The next match, I called in the Bombardment and I also received a triple kill. In fact, you can see me waiting around briefly to see if the reward would pop up, but it never did. So the Bombardment also does not register towards this challenge. During my next match, I tested both the Thor and the Apex. I pulled an Apex out of a drone package and while controlling it, I received a triple kill right at the end of its duration. Again, no challenge complete notification popped up. And while I was in the Apex, I also acquired my Thor streak. So as I controlled the Thor, I got a triple kill and a quad feed. And again, no challenge complete was seen. I thus can also conclude that the Apex and the Thor do not register. Likewise, I tried the Warden repeatedly and this will also not register towards the challenge. So as you can see, there's ample reason why people might struggle with this challenge. It sounds easy enough, but when you take a closer look, nothing actually registers. The Trinity Rocket, the Bombardment, the Warden, the Thor, and the Apex all do not count towards this challenge. I tried every single one of these streaks in a drone package as well as earning it myself, and none of them worked. So what exactly must one do to notch a point towards this challenge? And the answer? Scorchers. This is the only score streak that'll register towards the Carpet Bomb Challenge. Now obviously, there's no way this is intended. This has to be a glitch of some sort. However, I have to work with the hand I'm dealt, so my tactics will obviously just focus on the Scorchers. I'm sure everyone's familiar with the Scorcher score streak. Activating the streak gives you a targeting view of the map, and you can choose the target for the strafing run, as well as the angle from which the Scorchers will attack. The goal is to line up the Scorchers so that they cover the most open ground possible, with as little of the run targeting inaccessible areas of the map or rooftops as possible. Once targeted, the Scorchers arrive extremely quickly, and they lay down a devastating wall of laser fire, which will eliminate any targets caught in the open. Now the Scorchers obviously work best on open terrain, and in particular, on objectives in the open. For example, targeting a wide open B flag as soon as the game alerts you that the enemy is capping it will likely net you a triple kill or greater. On certain maps, such as Genesis, you can usually target the highly traversed center portion of the map and almost always get a double or triple kill. In fact, this is the spot where I got almost all of my triple kills. Have the arrow point to the left and line it up to strike directly down the center of the map, and you'll profit more often than not. If you have a Scorcher streak in reserve and you're situationally aware, you can also be rewarded in kind. For example, should you hear an enemy drone package get called in, pull up your Scorcher's map and pinpoint where the drone package is headed. With a bit of luck, you'll find a group of enemies in that area attempting to capture or guard the package, resulting in a lot of bodies. 
If Drop Zone is available when you're attempting this challenge, it's also an extremely great mode for Scorcher triple kills. The issue is, of course, that you can't control what streaks you obtain since you can't run any on your own. Should you get the Scorchers though, you can absolutely light up the entire enemy team as they sit on the Drop Zone. As mentioned earlier, Domination is great for getting Scorcher triple kills, but you can take that a step even further by playing Ground War. More enemies equals more opportunity for triple kills. I myself had already completed the challenge prior to even attempting Ground War, but it made me instantly regret not doing so prior. I was getting triple and quad feeds left and right with the Scorchers, and if Domination came up in the rotation, it made it even easier. Now if you're having trouble earning Scorchers to begin with, you can do a few things to aid you. First, you can run the drone package. The drone package is much easier to earn for lesser skilled players than the Scorchers themselves. And the odds of getting the Scorchers out of the drone package are pretty high. Next, the Warfighter Rig is an excellent remedy to your score streak needs. You can run Combat Focus to easily rack up the necessary points. Or, if you're still not confident, running the drone package and Scorchers with the Persistence trait should all but guarantee you have at least one shot a game at earning a triple kill with the Scorchers. Lastly, if Hyper Team Deathmatch is available, run Combat Focus and play this. You'll earn the payload every 21 seconds. And if you're running the Drone Package and Scorchers, you should be able to earn these repeatedly throughout the match. So that's all there is to it. Once you realize that there's only one sure way to succeed with this challenge, you can focus your efforts on earning as many Scorchers as you can. While it's true you won't get a triple kill on every attempt, you can utilize the game modes and targeting strategies I've mentioned in this video to maximize your potential. So next time the opportunity arises, send a message to the sky and watch in awe as the winged hussars arrive.